all of the windows were smashed out. Um, the Baptist Church, which their basement was completely flooded, they were out of business for quite a while. The old red mill. In November, we started this process, the long-term community recovery process, and um, it's been a great experience for us here in Waterbury because we've been able to come up with um, really specific projects that will help us move forward. Today's meeting is really a turning point for the community. Up to now, we've been doing a lot of planning about how we think we can move forward, and today we're going to be able to start taking those plans and really start moving with them. And the project champions are displaying and talking to uh, the partners about their projects. We are presenting our community-generated long-term recovery plan to various state and federal agencies, telling them how we think we want to succeed and go forward, and they are here to help us uh, find resources to do that. Our first project is the Business Resource Center. This project here is to build a joint police, fire, and rescue building. Our group is revitalization of the historic village. These are not just pie in the sky ideas. These are the ideas that we thought would have the biggest impact and would really come to life. An application from Waterbury will score well. It'll score well for national competition. This meeting is the transfer of the FEMA group working with the community to the community moving forward on its own with the other partners. USDA Rural Development has about 40 different programs and I would say 99% of the projects in the room we have programs that could assist with. Not only the number of projects brought forth but the depth and understanding of each of those projects is very impressive. There's a lot of resources out there to be able to help communities with what they want to accomplish, whether it's a community center or fire and rescue. However, unless you have someone that's willing to step up and be the champion of that activity, the money usually doesn't get access. A long-term disaster recovery plan such as the one that has been put forth by the town today will certainly give those communities a competitive edge not only in the consideration of an application for funding under our programs, but other federal and state resources as well as foundation funding. FEMA brings people with experience, they bring facilitators, they help with the logistics of setting up meetings, they help move us forward, and that's taken a whole team of people that unfortunately we don't really have at the state. So we feel so grateful to FEMA for the resources provided because I think it has been a catalyst and it's set timelines and very focused uh, strategies, and I know it's making a difference. So I just want to make sure you are planning to go through the downtown designation process, because that's going to really help you. Is there any way to hurry that process? One of the recovery partners was saying, I understand that Wilmington is thinking about going for downtown designation. As soon as you get that, then it'll fast track you onto this other granting process, and we said... I understand that it can take a year, a year and a half. Well, but I, I've heard that it takes a year and a half to apply. And she said, Mary, you've already done all the work. You've been doing it. Go ahead, great. That's what you've been doing. And so that was an aha moment. After seeing all the people here today and the energy and things, I'm, I've converted. We're 50% uh, complete on this. <laughs> um, you really feel confident that this is the right thing and it's going to be good for the future of Waterbury. There's a buzz in the air and people are talking and you can you can feel the ideas that are going back and forth. Um, so this has really been a wonderful day.